Hello, hello, hello. Good morning, everyone. Mega love shout out all the subscribers and followers of this channel. And if you are new to my channel, please. <laughs> One subscribe to like share. Don't forget to ring the bell buttons for the next notification. Three like leave a comment subscribe for subscribe oh right. our lesson for today is how to solve problem involving motion. Okay, so this is for grade 7 mathematics, second quarter, and this is your teacher, Marife Adonis. Alright, so when an object moves um, uh, moves without changing its speed or rate, that, that object is said to be a un in uniform motion. Okay, so we have this a formula. For this sense, we have rate times time. And if you're looking for time, that's distance over rate. And if you're looking for rate, that is distance over time. For example, uh, what is the distance in kilometers that a car travels? For example, letter A, if we have uh the rate which is 45 kilometer per hour and the time is of uh, three hours so we have d so from the formula distance uh, is equals to rate times time or rt so we have um 45 kilometer for, per, or per hour times 3 hours so let's cancel this and then we need to multiply 45 times 3 that is equals to 135 kilometers so 135 kilometer is the distance ok so that's correct next so, at the rate of x kph in 5 hours. So, how are you going to do that? From the formula itself, we can manipulate. No? So, we have the rate t or the rate times time. So, the rate is x kilometer. So, x kilometer times uh, x kilometer per hour times 3 hours ok so cancel natin yung 3 hours what remain is we have 5 or 3 no so 3 3 kilometers or 3x kilometer 3x no? kilometer ok Next, what about for letter C? So, for letter C, we have uh, the rate of 80 kph. So, the same, no? Um, we have 80 kph or kilometer per hour, okay, times um, the XR. So, because XR tayo, so, um, cancel yung R. So, 80 times x so that means 80 x kilometer okay all right so 80 x kilometer 
for the city the correct answer and again for letter b we have 3x kilometer and for letter b 135 kilometer is the distance so those are the distance next so let us uh, write the average speed or what average speed rate of a speed must a car travel to cover a distance of 243 kilometers in three hours okay so our solution so we can use uh, the formula for rate which is distance over time so we have 243 divided by 3 that's about 81 kilometer per hour so 243 kilometer uh, so you must write also the and then over the hour or three hours no so that's the answer okay so we have um another motion problem so for example romeo and juliet agree to meet for a date romeo drives 40 kilometer per hour and juliet 35 kilometer per hour after how many hours will they meet if they are 150 kilometer apart and they start driving directly toward each other at the same time so if we are going to write in a table so we have romeo and juliet and we have the time it's x so the rate of romeo is 40 and um Juliet is 35. So their distance is 40x and Juliet has 35x. Okay, so um, remember to use x or let x a number of r's before the mean. Okay, so we use the formula distance is equal to the rate times time. Uh, of course, so from that given, so we can say that 40x plus 35x is equal to 150. Now, so we have 40, that's 75x multiplied by 1 over 75. So cancel not this one. And then, of course, um, 150 divided by uh, 75 is 2 hours. Okay? That means they will meet. Therefore, they will meet after two hours. So Juliet or Romeo and Juliet will meet after two hours. So to check your answer, um, you just substitute two in x. So two times forty and thirty-five times two. That is eighty plus seventy. That is equal to one hundred fifty. Therefore, one hundred fifty is equal to one hundred fifty, and this is correct. Okay, so let's have the second problem. Jessica um, climb at a hill climb a, at a hill at 1.2 km per hour and walk downhill at 1.5 km. So if it take, took here all of three hours to climb and go downhill, how far did she climb? Okay, so let D is the distance Jessica climbed in kilometers. So that's same distance covered downhill. And of course, so we have, we can use this table also. No, so um, for D, or oh, for uphill, so we have the distance is D and the rate is 1.2. That's the time is D over 1.2. For downhill, so of course, the rate is 1.5. That's D over 1.5 okay so from the equation d over 1 uh, 1.2 plus d over uh, 1.5 is equal to 3 okay so from our solution okay so from we have the solution uh, and then First, we multiply both sides by 6 because the LCD of 1.2 and 1.5, of course, that is 6. Okay, so 6 divided by 1.2 is 5, and then 6 divided by 1.5 is 4. So that's time D, so 6 times 3 is equal to 18. Then we have 5D plus 4D is 9D, then cancel. So... 18 divided by 9 of course we have 2 so the distance is 2 so let us check the answer 
Okay, so we have 2 over 1.2 plus 2 over 1.5. Okay, so we have 10, no? 6, divide, six uh, divided by 1.2, that's 5 times 2 is 10. Of course, 10 plus 8 is equal to 18. So we got the correct answer. Okay. So, if you have questions and clarifications, write it at the comment section. Remember, gratitude is the best attitude. And before I go, please. Don't forget to like. Share Don't forget to ring the bell buttons for the next notification Three Like Leave a comment Subscribe For subscribe. All right. Once again, thank you very much for all your support, especially to all my students. A grade seven blessedness, altruism, admirability, accountability, and appreciation. I love you all, guys, and of course to my organic barcadas. YTC International and the Tim Solid family. Thank you so much, guys, and thank you for always there, for always supporting my uh, class online, okay? So, I love you all and all my members and uh, uh, with uh, Super Charters, I love you all. God bless everyone.